it's really nice of Alan to allow me, uh, I mean, I didn't sign up until the last minute, which those of you who know me know that that kind of thing is somewhat habitual. Uh, I started this program 1998 at Michigan, um, and I just, you know, Craig Volden, as usual, I'm, I'm following on one of his good ideas, which is I just wanted to thank Rick Hall, who's just been a fantastic, really a model uh, faculty advisor in this program, um, has done about 50 times more at Michigan than I've ever done at Harvard. Um, that's probably under underestimate. Um, and not just to the political scientists. I, I think the economists who've gone through Michigan, the sociologists can say he has always asked some of the best questions at talks and always just given freely of his time. Um, goes without saying, Catherine, Gail, Teresa, Paula, and others have been similarly helpful. Um, and I want to thank the foundation for four things. Uh, first, for introducing me to the different people here, and especially people like Rick. Chance to rekindle some older friendships like uh, Kevin Esterling, Teku Lee. Chance to meet some newer scholars in you know, across the range of disciplines. Um, you know, everybody from Chris Parker to people like uh, Andrea and Hari and, and so many that I'm not going to be able to name. In Rick's case, um, it's been one of the best friendships that I've had over the past 20 years. And um, uh, in those years since the late 1990s, I've taught him how to fly fish badly. And he's taught me how to drink cognac badly. <laughs> um, I want to thank uh, I want to thank the foundation for three more general things, for investing in decent people and in professionalism. I, I hope this isn't going to sound too out of the way, but it's not always the case that universities are well structured to um, produce dialogue that uh, is based upon mutual respect and kindness. Does that sound oddball? Um, and my own reaction when somebody says, dude, your paper sucks, is kind of to you know, respond a little bit in kind, not unlike what Edward Norton was describing with the chairs of two departments at Michigan. Um, that really goes on. That, that doesn't go on here. And I think actually the conversation is the richer for it. And by the way, I've seen the opposite occur in just about any discipline. Um, and, and I think the fact, so it's not just the fact that it's interdisciplinary here, it's, it's the kind of people they've, 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 they've uh, invested in. Speaking of investment, every fellowship is a hedge. Every fellowship is a bet. And I know probably, I won't name names, I'm sure you guys have ideas, um, maybe some of them that didn't turn out so well. But I want to thank the foundation in taking a huge risk, in my case, uh, for somebody who, you know, planned to write a large book on an agency that hadn't really been studied that way, historically, in some ways ethnographically, but really archivally and statistically, um, and it transformed my career. Um, and finally, time. Um, there are a lot of grants that you can get out there, lots of fellowships that you can get out there, but this one, I think I can speak for everybody who's had this experience two years to rethink, to rewrite, to read, um, and to uh, reorient uh, one's career. And if I can, you know, say, pause and, and sound a note of um, slight concern for the future, it's not at all about the foundation, it's about where universities and foundations are, are headed, is that as grants and as projects and as investments um, follow more and more what you might call the shareholder value ideology of measurable immediate returns that I worry that that kind of investment that I thank the foundation for making is going to wane not just in healthcare but across the bit and I think we'll all be the poorer for it 20 years from now so I hope other sectors and I, I know the foundation is, is conscious of this but I hope we all kind of keep that in mind about what this kind of investment meant for younger people at their careers. I'm now standing in the way between uh, you all and Damon and what he has cracked up uh, for all of us, uh, and so I'm going to uh, stop. Thank you, everybody. Okay. So with that, uh, my name is Quincy Stewart. People call me Q. <laughs> um, for those of, me, uh, those of you who know me, um, you know that I come from a background where I was working on uh, physics models of network diffusion, and the link between that and health policy is not obvious. Um, I had kind of a crazy idea in 2006, which is that I wanted to build an internet-based network experiment to study physics applications to health policy. Right? It's a stretch. It's a stretch in 2016. 
but um, they took a gamble on it. And it's only because of the, really the guidance and mentorship of the program that it succeeded. Um, first and foremost with Alan, who when I arrived in year zero, um, and I was used to working interdisciplinarily between physics and sociology, I said, I, you know, be on the Harvard campus, I want to make ties to physics. And he said, well, maybe you should make ties over to like health policy. And so I really thought about this in more applied sense, and I, I, I worked myself into a compromise where I said, what if I had talked to applied physicists? Um, <laughs> And Alan said, right, so health policy. Um, and then I thought about it overnight, came to him the next day, and I said, what if I talk to computer scientists? And Alan was like, right, health policy. So um, I spent a lot of time talking to health policy people. Um, among them, my major mentors were Nicholas Christakis and Gary King, who provided invaluable guidance. Um, but ultimately, it was Kathy Schwartz, who really was like the main mentor for me. And, and, and yeah, woo, seriously. Um, who I came to her with like a page and a half sketch of this you know, design for an internet experiment. And she was like, great, what do you need? I said, I, I guess I need to hire some developers, I need servers, I need some IP infrastructure. Great, it was all done. Most importantly, Kathy had the insight to say, you might also want lawyers. You might also, there might be IP here you want to protect. And so as a result of her insight there and her sort of foresight, um, last year my, Harvard, my Robert Wood Johnson project was patented by the US Patent Office, um, which, you know, <laughs> You talk about going from like theory to application, that's a pretty big leap. Um, and so out of gratitude, I started, I was playing around with ideas over this weekend, um, or this last few days, of um, some kind of homage. And I'd recently seen Hamilton, so I was thinking of like a Lin-Manuel style like rap opera about, you know, from physics and sociology all the way to health policy. But um, <laughs> thankfully, I was talked out of that. Uh, <laughs> Um, and I realized, most importantly, that this journey isn't just about me. It's a human capital program, but it is, in every respect, a social capital program, right? And that's hugely important. This isn't about me. It's about all of us. It's about you and you and you and you. You know who you are. Come up here. Yeah. <laughs>